My name is Jared Wallace and this is my incredible story. Running's always kind of been a part of uh, my life and, and been a big part of who I am. So, you know, growing up and doing 5Ks races and, um, you know, then, you know, going into high school and, you know, becoming competitive in the, uh, you know, distance events, you know, is um, always, always a lot of fun. Yeah, in my junior year of high school, I, um, you know, started having some pain in my shin and, and you know, something that kind of felt like uh, shin splints or stress fracture, you know, and so I, I went to a couple of doctors, uh, you know, that was when we learned about compartment syndrome, what it was, and got tested for it, and, um, you know, found out that it was something that I had. You know, I was kind of faced with, with two decisions, you know, continue running pain, you know, in pain and, and managing um, compartment syndrome, um, or have the surgery, you know, get the release of the, you know, pressure that is built up in your calves and begin running, you know, pain free. And, you know, the second option sounded great to me. It was a six week active recovery. And, um, you know, unfortunately we had complications in that, in that surgery. Uh, and that caused me to lose about 60% of the muscle from my knee down and uh, kind of sent me on the journey that, that now, uh, you know, I am on now. That kind of led me to a, a meeting with a doctor that, um, you know, I was faced with one of the probably one of the biggest decisions of my life where he looked at me and he said it's not a matter of if but when you lose your leg. And he said you have an eight-year-old leg on a, on a 19-year-old's body and you know that was sobering news. Um, I remember leaving that doctor's office and the first thing I did was g go to Google and you know start researching what it would look like you know to be an amputee and you know what what's out there. On that Google search I started I came across Paralympic track and field and I came across the world record list and um, I remember calling my parents in the room and pointing the screen and said you know my name's going to be on this list and uh, you know it's not why I'm going to have the amputation but um, if I'm going to do this we're going to we're going to have something to go after and um, you know the journey started from there. A year from the amputation, the amputation was in June of 2010, a year from that surgery, um, I ran in my first track meet and won the 100 and won the 200, um, qualified me for nationals 2011 and went down and uh, got third in the 100 at nationals which qualified me for the Pan Am Games in November down in Guadalajara, Mexico and I went down there and ran the fastest time in the world that year in the 100 meters dash and won the gold medal. No, I mean, in the final at Worlds, it's going to be amazing. The conditions are, are, are good. Uh, the track is fast, um, from what I've heard, and there, there will be a world record that will be run. Uh, there might be a few of them, and just the first person who crosses the line first is going to get it. I and mean, that's exciting to know that the field's strong enough to, for that to happen, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm going confidently ready to, to win a gold medal and, and uh, to break the world record again. You know, Qatar is going to um, have their eyes opened up to the world of para-sport. Um, I think they're going to be um, pleasantly surprised by the competition across the board, and um, I think it's going to change the perception of disability in that country. Oh, I think it's going to um, blow people's minds. You really don't understand the ability of disabled until you see a Paralympic event. Um, you know, the, the term disability is, is, uh, is a reality. You know, we, we do have physical disabilities. There's, not, there's, there's no way around that fact. But um, it's what people do with the circumstances they're in that defines them, not the circumstance. And so, um, you know, to be in, uh, surrounded by hundreds of people that um, have all been given a different set of cards uh, and, and to see what, you know, they do with it is, is, is humbling and it's inspiring and it's encouraging and it's amazing. You know, the reality is, is everyone has a story. And I, I, think, I think I would go as far to say that everyone has a great story. And I believe it, it, it you know, it's my responsibility and, and, you know, others right now that have the, this platform to um, create opportunity for their stories to be heard as well. You know, I think a legacy that I would like to leave behind is, um, you know, I, I would like to people say that um, Jared made a difference in Paralympic sport. Um, Jared uh, created opportunity for me to compete, you know, that maybe I never would have before. And, and um, you know, the cool thing is, is I know I don't stand alone in that. You know, the guys that I stand next to on the track that I race with, the guys that I train with, are all in that same boat. So um, together, you know, you know, united, we will, um, we will make a difference. The Doha 2015 World Championships will be beyond incredible.